Shalom to the Lord's elect. Let's begin this quick update um, by first and foremost, giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, our King, our Redeemer, our Savior, our Big Brother, Yahweh Shai. Let's give double honors to our head apostles, the Bishop, the elders out of the great millstone that taught us this truth and the salutation peace to the Lord's elect. The tabernacle of David, 144,000 first and followed by the large multitude, men, women, children, whom our King, our Redeemer, Yahusha is going to have mercy upon. They are known as the elect. They were picked before the foundation of this earth to be sealed, to receive the gift of faith and be sealed and be delivered. Again, it's your brother Malak coming to you through the spirit and power of our King, our Redeemer, Yahusha, to bring you this quick update. This is going to be very, very quick. Very, very quick. You know, I'm going to try to get it under 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes, family. You know, what do we get excited about these prophecies? Okay, this came from a Tena radio show. This evening, okay, the warning has gone out. Iran finally sent a no. It's called here. It's, <clears throat> excuse me. It's a notice to air missions, okay? So they are ready to fire the missiles, okay? But we're going to read it. But first, before we get right into it, we're going to go to the second book of Ezra, chapter 16, verse 35. It says, Hear now these things. Okay, hear what the Lord says. Hear now these things and understand them, ye servants of the Lord. You see, the Lord says, Know the time. What time are we in? Look, listen to the prophecies. I'm going to speak through you. The prophecies are jumping off the pages. It says here, Behold the word of the Lord. It says, Behold the word of the Lord. Behold the word of the Lord. Receive it. Hey, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. Don't listen to your friggin' rulers here telling you that friggin' after the third world war, they're going to rise up and build back better. Put your trust in Donald Trump, Kamala Harris. No, don't listen to them. This is the end of their kingdom. Okay, this is the end. It says here, behold the word of the Lord. The word, because remember Isaiah 55, 11. The word that goes out of his mouth will not return to him void. He's about to destroy this place. In the midst of third world war, he's sending his son, Yahweh Shai, to come and take over the kingdom and what? set up his government. Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. Okay, behold the word of the Lord, receive it. Believe not the gods of whom the Lord spoke. And he said, behold the plagues, draw it nigh and are not slack. The third world war, the civil war, the microchip, the diseases, the pestilences, all coming. The Lord said they are not going to slack. There ain't going to be no delay between, no. They ain't going no, there's, there's no delay. They are coming upon the earth. He said, Behold, the plagues draw at night and are not slack. Listen to this. As when a woman, okay, with child in the ninth month, okay, so think about nine months, you know that this woman is miserable. She is tired. She wants this baby out. Hey, bring it forth her son with two or three hours. The baby is coming. Two or three hours of her birth, great pains compass her womb. She's in pain, family. Pain, pushing that baby out. Which pains when the child cometh forth? As she's in pain, pushing this baby out. When that baby started to come out, family, they slack not a moment. You hear that? The baby is, is not going to do. Once the baby started coming out, they see that head popping out, family. It says here, they slack not the moment. Meaning there ain't going to be no delay. That baby is coming out. Even... Now hear what the Lord is. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. He's compared to a woman who's about to deliver the baby. The baby is coming. You think the baby is going to go back into the belly? No, the baby is coming. You see the head coming. Eh? He said the slack not a moment. Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. That's what is coming. Hey, this what this is what is coming. The war of Armageddon, and again, Jeremiah, no, Second Ezra fifteen twenty eight. That's why the dragon of Arabia, Ezekiel thirty eight. These are the times that we are about to enter into. But listen to this good news. And hey, hey, it says here, no updated at five forces. We're gonna read the update also. Iran issue no time, meaning notice to air missions. Okay, hey. November 4 through 6. Today is the second. It could happen before then. Because it makes no sense to give all this advance notice. And if the enemy knows when you're going to fire, don't you think the enemy will preemptively attack you? So it could happen between now and, and what? November 6. But here, 
updated sorry iran issued notice to air mess <coughs> sorry <coughs> air mission november 4th through 6th and so to sunday november 4th is what monday to what to wednesday okay monday to wednesday this is what they, they're claiming that they're going to send missiles to israel but listen to this family iran has officially declared a no time notice to air missions i want to get this in under 10 minutes family Notice to air mission from November 4th at 2.30 a.m. until November 6th at 6.30 p.m. Air travel restriction confirmed. It appears the hypersonics are ready to hit Israel. Iran is seven and a half hours ahead of U.S. Eastern time. Eh? I am reminded we all, sorry, we, uh, we fall back one hour to standard time tonight into tomorrow. So, I have now just adjusted the time. Iran will then be eight and one half hours ahead of us, ahead of U.S. East Coast. So the correct times are in bold as follows. So at 6 p.m. Eastern U.S. Standard Time tomorrow, Sunday, it will be precisely 2.30 a.m. local time in Iran. That time also converts to 5 p.m. Central Chicago time. I don't want to bore you with all this time, family. Let's skip. Two. It said the longer Iran lets those missiles remain out in the open, that's what I just said, the open, the longer they are vulnerable to preemptive attack by Israel and the U.S. So logic dictates that the launches will begin right at no term time, which is 2.30 a.m. in Iran and 7 p.m. tomorrow Sunday on the U.S. East Coast. Word on Intel Circus is claiming that Iran has already pre-positioned 1,000, listen to this family, 1,500 missiles for launch. But later, more recent Intel is now saying the total number of missiles distributed from storage is about 4,000. Israel has said if Iran attacks, they will get double in return. It is, family, this is, what, this is the language that we want. This is what we want, family. This is what we want. They send 4,000, Iran is going to get double. You know what that means? Third World War. Hey? Israel has said if Iran attacks, they will get double in return. It is not known if Israel has such ballistic missiles resources. Generally, the Israelis rely on aircraft to attack other countries. But the U.S., this is what we want because the law says the least of the flocks shall draw them in, right? The, is, Israel is going to draw America in and it's going to, it's going to, they're going to destroy America and they're going to destroy Israel. It said, but the use, it says, but the United States has sent enormous, enormous military resource into the region. And it's not hard to imagine immediate U.S. involvement. That is what we want. U.S. involvement because that's going to draw who in? It's going to draw Russia in. It's going to draw China in. It's going to draw North Korea in. That's what we want. Even though Congress has not declared war, Iran has also made very clear, listen to this family, that if the United States participate in attacking Iran, all U.S. bases in the Middle East will come under Iranian missile attack. U.S. bases in the Middle East, here they are. Family, look at this. Eh? Look at all the bases. Hmm? Remember, Esau's blessing was what? The sword. To take peace from the earth. That's right. No other nation have all these military bases except Esau, Edom. Self-proclaimed white men. Eh? The Roman Empire. Okay, these are all the bases they have in the Middle East. Okay, but let's continue here. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's a that thing that's the Middle East eye. This is a, perhaps this is why the U.S. has sent such enormous military capabilities. They know what Israel is planning. They know U.S. bases will be attacked. The big unknown is what Russia, oh, I love this, China and North Korea may do. Russia made clear, listen to this, we will not allow our BRICS partner and ally Iran to be attacked. Family, Ezekiel 38.5. <clears throat> it says, we, let me go there, Russia made clear. We will not allow our BRICS partner and ally Iran to be attacked and destroyed. We will step in. China made clear. We will not allow Iran to be destroyed. We will take measures. North Korea made it clear. We will help Iran if it's attacked. You see, we see what is happening right now? With this array of military all coming into play over the Israel-Iran situation, 
the world could very well witness the outbreak of utterly massive, even uncontrolled military escalation. It can happen so fast, there will be little to no warning. When I read that, I said, yes, this is, Yahweh Shai says, well, he's going to come as a thief in the night. Because for me, the elect got to be beamed up. Before those nuclear missiles hit, the elect has to be beamed up. Okay? He said the elect will be scarcely saved. Scarcely saved. And he said the clock is ticking. We are all now hours away from finding out what catastrophe is unfolding. Family, we are excited. Whether it happened between that time frame, we know that at the end, Third World War is coming. Third World War is coming. Nobody can avoid it. This is the Lord's movie. He mm? said the clock is ticking. We are all now hours away from finding out what catastrophe is unfolding. I earnestly hope you are all prepared with emergency food and eh? Water, medicine, and etc. It said the United States, this update was at 5.06 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The United States warned Iran that it will not be able to contain Israel. You hear that? So they just did this afternoon. United States says, yeah, they know what Iran has. So now they're coming because family at the end of the day, this is U.S. war. It's all about holding on to the American dollar and the resources. That's right, because right now, all the new, everybody's flocking to Russia. Okay? Russia, they're forming a multipolar world. America said, no, we want to be the unipolar world, the only power in the world. So far, listen to this. The United States warned Iran that it will not be able to contain Israel in the event of a new attack. We will not be able to contain Israel. And we will not be sure that the next Israel attack will be as calibrated and targeted as the previous one. We say, Tawada Yahawa Bahashem Yahushai Bahashem Rekha Kodash. This is what we're waiting for, family. This is what we're waiting for. So, like I said, I want this thing to be quick. The Lord says here, yeah, the place are not slacking. Mm -hmm. It's about to gather all these nations. Because actually, you know, how about this? It's just a quick precept. I wasn't going to do this, but let's go to Isaiah 34. And let's, let's give honor and glory to the Lord. Isaiah 34, quickly. This is the time that we are living in family. We have to glorify the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. Family, we know we are about to be released from prison. And there's a king coming to get us out. And we are living here, Lord willing, we are among the number. We are living in style. So our job here is to give honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh. And it's only begotten son, Yahweh, Shai, for what they have done for us. And we are rejoicing because what? our captivity is over. O-V, zero. I say O-V. That's right. It's O-V-E-R. Okay? Our captivity is over. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let's go here and read it in NLT and we're going to shut this up. It says here, Isaiah 34. Family, I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm still under 10 minutes. Please don't hold it against me. It says, come here and listen, O nations of the earth. Let the world and everything in it hear my words. You hear that? Everything. The laws, the trees, the animals, everybody need to pay attention. It says here, for the Lord Yahweh. And is enraged against the nation. You hear what the Lord is saying? He is pissed off. He said his fury is against all their armies. You hear that? All their armies. North Korea, South Korea, Russia, US, Iran, China. The Lord said he is pissed off at all their armies. And for the Lord, Yahweh is enraged against the nations. His fury is against all their armies. He will completely destroy them, dooming them to slaughter. Remember, Yahweh Shai is coming to turn all these nations' military into war. That's why it's about to cremate them. Cremation. The cremation is coming upon the earth. That's what Yahweh Shai is bringing. He said, they are dead. Their dead will be left unburied, and the stench of rotten bodies will fill the land. He said, the mountains will flow with their blood. Mm -hmm. You hear that? The mountains will flow with their blood. That's what is coming. He said, the heavens... Above will melt away and disappear like a roll-up scroll. Those are the nuclear missiles. It's called the mushroom clouds. Okay, the stars eh, will fall from the sky like withered leaves from a grapevine or shriveled figs from a fig tree. Their military, their, sorry, their drones, their aircraft, eh? everything above the heavens. Family, once those nuclear missiles hit, everything is going to come down. And it says, well, it says, okay, nuclear winter, they call it. 
Yeah, this is what is coming upon the earth. It says here, the heavens, eh, sorry, verse 5, it says, and when my sword, eh, who, who, who's, what is the Lord's sword? The missiles has finished its work in heavens, eh? it will fall upon Edom, the self-proclaimed white man, the nation I have marked for destruction. You hear that? The nation the Lord have marked for destruction. For what they've done to the children of Israel, the Negroes, Latinos, African American, Native Americans. Yeah, the Lord is pissed off. We are the apple of the Lord's eyes. That's why we are rejoicing. That it's about to take vengeance on our enemies. Family, like I promised, I hope I did it under 10 minutes. I'm going to leave it there. Yahweh Rat is our Lord willing, something come up, we will throw it, we will bring it out to you and lift up the name of our power. Our Redeemer, Yahusha, family, the prophecies are jumping off the pages. Okay, repent, repent, repent. That's it. Repent, man, repent. It's not a time to be putting things off. We know that Jake loves to procrastinate. Repent. The king is coming, man. You don't want to miss this family reunion. You don't want to miss it. Okay? I'm going to leave it there. Shalom.